Take your wax block and mark center line on all four sides of the block. Then intersect the center line on base and the top of the wax block. Mark all four sides of the wax block such that the mesial side should be opposite to that of the distal side and labial side should be opposite to that of the lingual side. Then mark 1.1 cm square on all four sides of the block. From the above marking, mark 1.7 cm on all four sides of the block. Now we have marked the crown on the root length. Mark 5.5 mm on the cervical line of labial and lingual sides. Then mark 7 mm on incisor line on labial and lingual sides. Then join the point, it will form a trapezoidal shape. The trapezoidal form of a crown should be such that the incisal part has to be longer than that of the cervical part. Start removing the wax from mesial and distal side of the block. Mark three lines on the crown surface and divide the labial and lingual surfaces into three equal parts. So after carefully removing the wax, you will start marking mesial and distal slopes on the incisal edges. You can see here, distal slope is longer than the mesial slope. And then start removing the wax. You can see here, it will form a pentagonal shape. Mark the center line on the mesial and the distal side. Mark 7 mm on cervical line on mesial and distal side. Draw the curvature as shown and then start marking the curvature. You can see here in this figure the labial side is convex and lingual side is concave or convex. Start removing the wax from the label site. To make the central ridge prominent, remove the wax from either side of the midline slopingly. 
the central ridge of mandibular canine is less prominent when compared to the maxillary canine. After carefully removing wax from the labial side, start remove the wax from the lingual side. The lingual surface of crown is concave or convex with concave part in incisal and middle third and convex part for a singular mother cervical third. Now, reduce small amount of wax at incisal and middle third to obtain concave surface. Now the crown is almost ready, polish the surface. On lingual surface mark midline. The concave portion of surface has two fossa on either side of the midline. The shape of fossa is inverted triangle with apex towards the cingulum. To carve the fossa, place the straight edge of the carver towards it and midline and curve the edge away from the midline. Now start marking root on labial and lingual side. Root is very much thin from the labial and lingual side and little bit tilted towards the mesial side. So mark accordingly. Now start removing wax from mesial and distal sides. So after carefully removing the wax, start marking mesial and distal sides on the block. Start removing wax from labial and lingual side. Here the root is little bit wider when compared to the labial side. So mark accordingly. You will make the edges round and smooth. The root is usually straight and sometimes shows mesial curvature. Now start marking the cervical line as shown. On the mesial and distal side, cervical line is convex and on labial and lingual side, it is concave. After marking cervical line, remove the wax below it, so the cervical line is clearly visible. After this, mark the developmental groove in the form of straight line on mesial and distal side. 
the developmental depression is deeper on mesial root surface. Now start polishing it with polishing cloth. There should be no sharp edges. So round it accordingly.